the whole night. Islam gave to the world a political system. But it did not come for the first time with Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam, no. It came for the first time with Nabi Dawood alayhi salam. And Nabi Suleiman alayhi salam. The holy state of Israel. In the holy land. And that holy state of Israel recognized Allah as Al Malik, the sovereign. Recognize Allah's authority as supreme, Al Akbar. Recognize Allah's law as the highest law, Al Hakam. India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh or South Asia had the rule of the Mughals, like. Turkey and Anatolia and the Ottoman Empire had the rule of the Ottomans. And these were monarchies, but they were still using Islam. And so the, the shell was there of Khilafah, recognizing Allah as sovereign. And they enforced Sharia. Until Britain emerged and British armies conquered together with French and German and they colonized the world of Islam. And so Muslim India was now under British rule for how long? Maybe 150, 200 years or more. Did this happen by accident? No. This was Dajjal's work. Oh yes. Because Dajjal wanted to bring about change. He wanted to cause this entire Muslim community to be imprisoned in a new political system that he had devised. And so when the time came for Britain to withdraw, it was not by accident, no. Britain wanted to withdraw, but on the condition that what is left behind will now be carbon copies of the European political system. Oh yes. And so, you may say Pakistan ka matlab kya la ilaha illallah but I want to know why is Dajjal hiding behind that mango tree and laughing his head off he is so happy why don't you understand you dum dum you have abandoned Darul Islam you have abandoned Khilafah and you have embraced the modern state which was created in Europe which declares that Allah is no longer Al-Malik the state is now Al-Malik that is Shirk Allah is no longer Al-Akbar the state is now Al-Akbar that is Shirk Allah is no longer Al-Hakam, the lawgiver. The state now makes the law. That is shirk. Why? Why? Why did Dr. Muhammad Iqbal not understand that? Why? 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 Why did Muhammad Ali Jinnah not understand that? I have a book outside, do please read it, it's small. Iqbal and Pakistan's moment of truth. Dr. Iqbal is a great scholar and I have the greatest respect for him. 
And when I offer a critical comment about Dr. Iqbal, it does not diminish his stature in my eyes. He still remains a great, great scholar. But the blame lies most of all on the shoulders of Dr. Iqbal for not recognizing that the modern political system and model of a state which was coming from Europe and which Mustafa Kemal embraced in 1922 to replace the Khilafah with the secular state of Turkey and which he, Iqbal, endorsed and which he put into his book the reconstruction of religious thought in Islam. He said that the modern parliament of the republican state is an adequate substitute and replacement for the Khilafah. What? Did Iqbal say that? But that's nonsense that the modern parliament of the secular state can be an adequate replacement for the Khilafah? That's nonsense. But because Iqbal had the statue, stature that Iqbal had, Muslim, Muslim religious thought in the whole subcontinent, illa masha Allah, went along went along with the bandwagon to create a modern secular state called Pakistan. You can put on a pagri on the head of Pakistan. You can make Pakistan grow its beard. And you can put Pakistan in sunnah clothes, it's still a secular state, you dum dum. It is still a state created on the same foundations as all the other secular states in the world, regardless of what you put in the constitution, because hypocritically nobody bothers about it. And so when Pakistan came into being, Muslim India said goodbye. Muslim India said goodbye to Islamic political theory. They said goodbye to Darul Islam. They said goodbye to Khilafah. And then a new, very strange creature.